welcome to um my youtube channel once again so in this uh, tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix your keyboard when any of the keys stop responding or stops and uh, suddenly stops working this one um, major problem i've discovered with all these digital um, pianos or keyboard the key can just stop working so i'm going to quickly show you how to fix your keyboard if you encounter such an issue Many people um, insert paper and uh, similar stuff in that in the they say rack that is um, that is in contact with the keys on the motherboard, those receptors on the keyboard. So that is a bad idea. So you can make your rack um, to be weakened and damage it. So you what you need is you need a screwdriver, a toothbrush, and a pencil so that is almost most time what causes this is um, death it gets into the keyboard and interferes with the contact of the keys and after opening and cleaning the key still it doesn't work instead more keys are, are added more keys stop working and i'm going to tell you why so now this particular key on my keyboard is not working about three three of them are not working three or four so are not working so i'm going to go step by step and show you how i'm going to fix this the first thing um the first thing you want to do is to unscrew the nuts and you should be very careful about this so that i don't uh, damage any components in it so i just finished um, removing the nuts now i'm going to Remove the one on the surface. And as I said, you should be careful not to damage the knots, the any other uh, components here, and uh, other than what is wrong with the keyboard. So now everything is unscrewed. You can see the rack, the rack I was talking of. Like I said, you should avoid uh, putting papers on them because it can weaken it and it is going to weaken it and going to damage it eventually. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take the toothbrush and clean up the surface. The those contacts around around the rack that is the first thing i'm going to do clean make sure you are making use of a very soft and toothbrush so i i already know the if the problem is not from there but that is what you do because sometimes the contacts can be, uh, be filled with dust and it stops working so up to now it still doesn't work you can see that is not working that is not working not working about four or five of the keys they are not working so there's a reason why this key has not been working when you bought your keyboard it came with uh, something uh, carbon on the surface of the uh, receptors so you discover that the receptors have um, carbon in them when you bought the keyboard at first so this and uh, the carbon they help with the transmission of the signal from your keys on these uh, receptors so it's some dark uh, dark powdery substances just there you won't even notice it's on the surface of them so i um so when um death or dust gets in between them now it's going to interfere with it and it's not going to um produce sound again and sometimes even water when when you you say you want to work on it and you don't know about this you end up cleaning up the surface, cleaning up the carbon from the surface and even so you discover that at the end most more keys are not working. You end up fixing them um, papers in the rack and instead it's going to you are adding more pressure to the rack. The keys are not going to sound okay because there's something and touch. You are going to if you put in papers there it's going to affect your touch. 
that are supposed to touch the keyboard and it sounds different from when you hit it hard. So the rack is going to be stiff and you are going to damage the rack eventually. So um, so normally when you have no idea about this, this is what happens. So what you should do is um, you want to replace the carbon and because pencil has um, carbon, I'm going to use it to mark replace the carbon that is no longer there. The no pencil has carbon called graphite, so I'm going to um, fix it back. So at this point, when the when the with the uh, you should make small markings. I see that one of them is not working. That is because the carbon was too much. Just make small markings of them. So I'm going to fix it there. Now. So a uh, everything is now fixed. After that, you make sure you test before problem. So you can see now that the the, the rack is now the everything is working. So the next thing is to fix. Yeah, the next thing is to fix the this and you get a sharp object and fix it. Something that won't damage the rack, but at least you have a blunt. So everything is now is now working properly. So this the best way you can fix your keyboard. It's now working. So the next thing to do is to couple couple it back. So this is the best way you can fix it. And it was, it's going to work till the next time um dogs get into it and that things get water and those things. So if you have already um, used paper and other stuff to do that, make sure you unscrew your keyboard and remove them because it's going to damage it in no time. And the keyboard is now back. So um, drop your comments. So my keyboard is now working. On the run next, the the dust gets into it or any of those things gets into it.